Okay, I don't know what we're gonna do. I just hit slash marker. Um, you know what? You know, I know what we're gonna do. I unlocked Tainted Eve today. She has an active item called Sumptorium. I have no idea what that means. Um, so we're gonna give it a try. Now my friends call me Bones. Thank you, Daniel. This this is uh, this is Tainted Eve and her her new friend Sumptorium, whatever the heck that means. So I guess you, you summon familiars to help. My HP! Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. I get the picture. That was a roller coaster, dude. That was good co-op today. We we did uh, we did some great work today. Saw some new stuff, cool synergies. I'm dead. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, start me again. Tap firing is your friend with this character. All right. It's a good idea. Tap firing is your friend. Hey man, you only gotta beat these characters seven times to unlock everything on the post-it notes, so don't don't get too disappointed. <laughs> yeah, her starting fire rate is 1.2. That's pretty nasty. That's not good stuff. We've made it out of worse though. You know, I think this is just the standard protocol. And what's what is standard protocol? Um, get mom's knife and win. It's just that easy. There you go. Now we can just shoot. Now just don't get hit, forehead. Anyway, yeah. I downloaded MLB The Show 21 on the, on the Xbox. I don't think I will stream it. Like, I gotta ask, it, it's not a huge deal, for sure. It's probably like less than five minutes of work, but I gotta like move the TV table out, unplug the PS5, bring the Xbox in here, plug it in, make sure that it works with the Elgato. And all that to just uh, to do some baseball that I think a lot of chat wouldn't be into to begin with. It's a bit of a it's it's a, a fool's gamble, I think. Please stream it. I've been following you since 2012 just to watch you play MLB. Do it. I got great news. If you. Go. You use the Internet Wayback Machine and then look at my Twitch video archive in 2018. We did three bounties for MLB The Show. So if you've been watching for, for nine years, it has happened. Yeah, plus we played a lot of Super Mega Baseball 3 with Mouth. Same my first Rodeo around the, around the Diamond. But dude, repentance, it just, it swallows up everything right now. I wouldn't enjoy it that much. Dude, I appreciate the honesty, honestly. I would much rather have people, you know, say their, their honest feeling about it than be like, I would love it. And then when it comes on, they're like, I'm going to leave to watch another streamer. <laughs> that, I prefer that for sure. Plus, like, it's it's crazy, like, I, again, we've said this every time we've talked about baseball, but, like, I, I always forget that it's not, like, a worldwide sport. We, we lived. Um, I mean, like, it's played in a lot of places, but there are, like, unique pockets, like, much of Europe, where it seems like nobody really knows uh, the rule sets, which, which is, it was surprising to me. Yeah, you're, you're playing cricket over there, I guess. Yeah, Europe, is, they're not on the baseball grind. They're too busy getting mad about, like, soccer, I think. Something to do with the Super League. It's a pretty big sport in Canada. There's, there's like, Canadian um, Major League Baseball players. We got the Blue Jays. We used to have the Expos. It's, it's a popular pastime here. I know it's America's game, but, like, you know, it's pretty popular in Canada as well. It's like the classic, um, like, summer sport when you're in middle school. It's like maybe you're not agile enough for soccer. Then you're like, okay, well, you just play baseball. There's about three minutes of exercise over the course of a four-hour long game.
Like, let me put it this way. I've said it before, but like on, on my softball team when I was growing up, there was a kid who used to drink a two liter bottle of soda every single game. So any any sport where you can drink like six cans of Coke and still perform at a, a reasonably high level is probably not, um, you're not doing that much running. Let's put it that way. Yeah, he was like 10. It was, you know, probably ill-advised uh, from a health standpoint, but, you know, it was a different era. It was a different era. I think it would be a, like softball as an adult is the sport that I would be most interested in playing as, as like a recreational league. Because it's like, you know, you don't have to be super coordinated. This is, this is dangerous, man. You, you don't have to be super coordinated. Um, you're only active for like a relatively short amount of time and you get to spend the rest of the time just hanging out with the with your friends in the dugout, right? That sounds like fun. As long as nobody takes it, like, super seriously. Sounds like a good time. How is it different from baseball? It just uses, like, a larger ball. Softball, like, that ball is still hard. Like, if it hits you in the face, you're gonna be, like... You're gonna be upset. I cracked my, my nose on a softball once. Like, we were playing catch to warm up before the game, and the guy I was playing catch with threw the ball to me and then said, look over there! So I, you know, I was 10 years old. I looked over there, and then he went, oh! And I turned my head back to see what he was reacting to, and he was reacting to the fact that the ball was gonna hit me in the face. So then it, it made me, like, bleed pretty badly out of my nose, but nothing was broken. And I went to the, the bathroom at the at the baseball diamond and like cleaned myself up and then it started to rain so we didn't even have to play the game anyway. Like it was a total ripoff. <laughs> there was there was literally no reason for the injury whatsoever. Okay, don't lose the spirit heart, man. File assault charges. He was kind of a jerk, but I actually feel like it's one of those things where it, he didn't intend for it to go down like that. There were times where he was a little bit more of like uh, an a-hole. I think this time he was just like, oops, you know, made a mistake. Were you a tattler in school? No, but you, we got to define what it means to be a tattler before we, before we get upset about this kind of stuff. If someone did something that's a victimless crime you don't tattle that's like a given if it's a victimless crime you know if, if somebody's passing notes in the class oh geez louise man oh my God. <laughs> restart me if someone's um you know they they got notes or something they're passing them in class you don't tattle on that it's none of your business but if you get in trouble for something that you didn't do, and you're like, oh, actually, like, you know, Jessica did it? Yeah, man. You tattle. You tattle to, to save your own skin in that situation. You don't you do not do the, the time for somebody else doing the crime if you know why they did it. We have, we have a knife? Hold on. I'm also going to change the title. Thank you. The Balding of Isaac. Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things where I'm like, uh, I think if you don't tattle, I thought this would help us actually. If you don't tattle, it only benefits people that are not you. I don't understand why you wouldn't tattle in a situation like that. It's like the rule about how like you never talk about your salary in the workplace. I think when you when you adhere to that rule, it only hurts you. Why wouldn't you talk about your salary and then, you know, get some extra leverage over management or something? Bad rule for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. That's what, like, tattling gets a bad rap. You don't want to be like a Randall, where, like, you're trying to get street cred with the teacher. 
by being like, hey, guess what I saw? Like stuff that was none of my business and didn't hurt anybody. But if you're getting in trouble for something, or well, I mean, this is a spicy one. What if you end up in a situation where your teacher's like, hey, if you don't, if we don't find out who did this, then everybody's gonna miss recess. I don't know. That's uh, I'm glad I don't find myself in those kinds of positions anymore. But I will say, in in the sixth grade, um, there was a kid in our class who like never did their homework, and then the teacher was like. If you don't do your homework tomorrow, the whole class is going to have to stay in for recess. And then, lo and behold, the next day, he didn't do his homework. And the teacher was like, okay, everybody misses recess then. And I was very proud of, of the class. Freaking. <laughs> I was very proud of the class. Because you would think that people would be like, oh, come on, man. Like, why didn't you do your homework? But even in sixth grade, everybody was like, yo, the teacher is, like, really overstepping here. Like, why are 29 other people being punished just because one kid, like, <laughs> quite frankly, just seems to have a very unstable home life or something like that. Like, it's too much. That's not the way you're supposed to handle Even as children, we were like, this is not the way you're supposed to do this. Is this an XL floor? Oh, my God. Dude, I'm so happy we have some creep. I'm not even going to shoot. Okay, I'm going to start shooting. Oh, freaking. Yeah, that it's the same kid who later um I've told this story before, but in like 11th grade, we had safety glass on our uh on our high school front door. So, like, it was near impossible to break. And then he broke it with his head. Like, he... Full disclosure, this guy was just built different. He had to go to the hospital, don't get me wrong. It wasn't like he was like, this owns. He was, like, pretty messed up, but... You gotta admire the tenacity, though. <laughs> We're still living somehow. Tinted Eve, I'm gonna say, you know, it's, it's not Tinted Eve's fault we haven't gotten like the greatest items of all time yet, but it's a little, uh, I'm, I'm, I consider myself unimpressed yet. I need a little extra. He was thrown into it or what? No, he just like, he just was like, I don't know what to say. Like I wasn't privy to the situation, but from what I was told later, he was just like, I'm mad or like hallucinating or something, and then he just smashed it with his head. Like headbutted. It. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, he finally remembered that in sixth grade the teacher was rude to him. Insubordinate and churlish. Pour one out for my man. I do wonder about that guy sometimes. I'm like, I wonder what happened. I wonder what happened. I wonder what he's doing. A lot of kids I went to school with, and Malf will echo this, like... I wonder what's up with them. But I also recognize that the idea of, like, that, that human impulse of, like, oh, I wonder what happened to the super weird kid from, like, fourth grade is basically the reason Facebook is, like, a $400 billion company. So I just, I, I push that um, instinct deep down, having deleted my Facebook account, and instead I just say, you know what? Maybe, maybe we weren't meant to know. Maybe that's something that, that Mother Nature uh, hid from us for a reason. Better not to know. Exactly. A lot of those small town papers are now archived online. Yo, but the, uh, come on. Like, <laughs> I got to Go to the, the library and bust out the microfiche and be like, I wonder what happened to this guy. Uh, <laughs> like it's uh, like I'm investigating something in a, in like a children's detective movie or something. Bro, anybody out here work in like a dictionary factory? I, I want to know what's the job market like. 
I was thinking about it the other day, man. I don't know if there's a more... Well, there's probably some, but... Like, it's gotta be some of the most antiquated... Technology. I, I hesitate to use the word, but... Some of the most antiquated technology out there, right? Like, making print dictionaries? Like, surely it still exists? To some extent? Because schools have got budgets to spend, but like... I gotta know, man. Like, I can't remember the last... Uh, Scrabble! Yeah, you're probably right. Scrabble's the only thing, like, holding the, the industry together. And even then, people are just looking it up on their phones, I'm sure. You're gonna be so sorry when the grid goes down. Hold on, we gotta... There's something at the door. Yeah, so let's just hit him with the wave. Even in like 2011, when I when I taught in South Korea, none of the kids were using paper dictionaries. They were all using like the little handheld like like Palm Pilot dictionaries. So I don't know, like you know, if, if language learning has gotten rid of you know the dictionary use case, I don't know what the heck's uh, you know the the business outlook there. Now that we, I think we just try to stack up as many spirit hearts as possible. Then, with every red heart we get, as long as we have spirit heart protection, we can spawn a familiar. Then every familiar will be, you know, it'll benefit us in an increasing degree. I mean, this is starting to come together. And yeah, I just wonder about Miriam Webster. Like, maybe that's why they've, uh... They've started to, uh... Diversify into social media. They've they've been pressured to put like YOLO in the dictionary and stuff like that. Um, my spirit hearts. I used all my spirit hearts. My mistake. <laughs> was it, was it my intention? Um, hey, they they probably do a lot of damage though. I mean, I, I might be able to use glowing hourglass, but that's like uh, that's cowardice, man. That's cowardice. No, 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 no. Well, hold on. Yes, 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 yes. You can get him back with Sumptorium. Yeah, but like, you know, I don't know. Maybe we'll try it after the boss. Let's see, let's see how we do against the boss. Because I, I also like being able to kill enemies in like a reasonable time frame. Just something that we have not had access to uh, on any of these runs yet. I'm a sucker for trading my HP for for life. Or for, for damage, I should say. Now, we are about to die, or are we about to truly live? Easy take. Dude, this is... It's pretty good. <laughs> um, I can't imagine that this is particularly good, but... We got it anyway. Let's go back for that item room. My first few runs is any tainted character. I'm just like, I'm just YOLOing, man. Like, we're experimenting. We're figuring out what the heck's going on. We're figuring out what works and what doesn't. So far, uh, I gotta tell you, Mom's Knife and Brimstone, pretty much, you know, they, they work with just about everybody. Holy poop. Holy poo! No, come on. That's just... Look, I know I said we were zany, but I can't back that up. That's too much. That's too much. That's... Hold on. I'm gonna go back and do it. Just because, like, what's the worst... No, we... Okay, fine. I'm gonna do it. Who cares? We got brimstone. <laughs> uh... Oh, what I'm using! I mean, don't don't use. Oh, but to charge up a shot. I gotta figure out which one's charging and which one's not charging, or wh which one's sumptorium and which one's not sumptorium. <laughs> Sorry, because we can suck them back up. Okay, I think that brimstone charges slightly faster. I thought that would get rerolled too, but it's got to be very fast. Like you got to use it. Like look at how close these are. 
Brimstone is a little faster, I think. No. Sumptorium's a little faster. Oh no, I just keep making them without shooting my Brimstone shot. On the bright side, like... Every time we use it, like... Everything dies. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened to the to the red uh, familiars, but that's okay. So we'll just suck them back every room. As long as we have some HP, I don't I don't see a good reason this couldn't work. This could be neat. What is this game? Dude, I'm just <laughs> I'm hoping we get some tiers upgrades. <laughs> some tiers upgrades would, would really hit the spot right now. Excuse me. Spare two seconds. Oh, I'm so stupid. We could have done this with, with a bomb and a key, but whatever. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Come on, man! I got no choice. Because <laughs> I used my last bomb. I got stuck there, dude. Whatever. I mean, like, it's still, it's a pretty good uh, option, but, you know, it's just kind of like, it's not what I was rooting for. I guess Bean could have worked. That's true. The tick play? Ha, ah, so true. <laughs> okay. Smash him. Uh, smash him. Suck them up. Okay. Moving on. Boy, when I watched him pick up that A tier trinket, I was literally in physical pain. Okay, suck them up. Dude, do you get a bonus after you suck them up? Is it. Oh no, I think I just. I turned red that one time because I had all those red hearts with no place to go. What's the downside of creating the little things? Um, the little things, um, they they take your HP every time you make one. We really don't have a, a choice but to make them, though. Uh, because the fire rate for Brimstone takes longer than the fire rate to create one of those guys. So I'm hoping that'll change here. It did. Okay, so now we can shoot, but honestly, like our damage is kind of bad. I actually kind of like our previous strategy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it rolling for a bit. I think there's high risk, high reward potential. Like you can use it to, um, you can use it to stack up like a bunch of damage and then just like crush them with the, with like a super shot or something like that. It's kind of a neat way to play. An interesting idea, as long as you got hearts. Hi, spare two hearts. Still got a little, we got a little gas. Like here, I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm gonna kill this guy, then I'm gonna suck him up. Baby. <laughs> Baby did not like that, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> Baby did not enjoy that. Okay, I'm just gonna put a bomb down here. Look at the baby smile. Funny baby. Look at the baby. I don't know what this does. Cracked orb. Shards of knowledge. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, she just heard about the tick play. <laughs> no, baby, it's... You... Baby, you don't understand. It was different back then. Times were different back then. Don't worry. Like, I, I say this every time. But, like, babies do be crying, basically. That could be good. They they just... They, they cry for some reasons. They cry for no reason that's discernible to an adult mind. 
It's uh, it's a whole thing. It's kind of like it's their it's their deal. That's very useful. Okay. Call Chib. He'll help out. Real talk, I would trust just about anybody in the Rainbow Six Siege call to babysit my child without leading to physical harm. However, um, Chib's still at the bottom of the list. And I don't mean any offense, really. Like, I, I, I'm going to just walk through it. Sips, number one, top of the list. Has two kids of his own. A little bit on the older side as well. So I, I give him the, the, the hat tip right out of the gate because he's got the skills. Um, number two would be Mouth. Mouth has a lot of young relatives. I've seen him with his young relatives. He seems like a cool uncle. Um, and we've been close personal friends for, for many years. So I think that he would have, uh, he would treat it with the decorum that I would ask him to treat it with, which is important. Following that, um, I know Corey in real life. I have seen him, uh, in interact in the real world I have confidence that he would uh, he, he's able to handle life's challenges that might uh, come up so he, he gets the third spot and then in the fourth spot just by default it's Chib all I know about Chib he's he's got a knack for the cool guy voice and he is single handedly like keeping the Peroni brand of imported loggers like off the off the bankruptcy papers that's that's all i know and he may he might have a gambling problem <laughs> and he met aragorn's horse that's right he also met aragorn's horse which is pretty i mean that's something man I would definitely prefer to have Chib watch my child than a random person in chat. That's not even close. I don't. Do you think I want someone from chat to get in an argument with my baby? Like that's that's the the number one thing I would be concerned about. There is a tinted rock in there. Amazing. Yeah, the baby would probably win too. And then people would be like, oh, the baby's been real toxic lately. I'm not just mad that I lost an argument to a baby. Just the baby's vibe has been off lately. Doesn't anybody else agree? No? Okay, well, moving on then. Okay. Golden Bomb Secret Room. Insubordinate and churlish. I mean, I think if you're a parent, or you've babysat before, babysitting is like 99% one of the easiest jobs you could ever do, and then 1% a mortal fear that you have, like, you're gonna lead this child to oblivion accidentally. Like, I, I think it's like moments of just boredom punctuated by an extreme amount of anxiety would be what I would expect uh, from, from babysitting. Like, I watched that episode of The Simpsons the other day where, um, Lisa babysits Bart. And then Bart's just being an a-hole. And he's like, oh, check it out. Like, I'm not gonna eat my vegetables or go to bed. Like, he, he was just being, like, very Josh-like, right? And then he falls down the stairs and breaks his arm and gets a big bump on his head. And I was like, you know what? Good. You deserve it, man. That's what you get for being a butthole to your sister. Hang on, let me look at that wheelbarrow. Just as I thought, a Yard King. That's a heck of a barrel. All right, have a good night, Lisa. It's, a, it's a, some great moments in that. Great, good, good show, man. Season eight, man. Great, great, uh, great bit of television, no doubt about it. Hey, you opened the door for me, so thank. Ooh. <laughs> My diagnosis. Bad babysitting. Dude, I also realized there's a there's a season eight episode of uh, 
The Simpsons, where they have an out of control St. Patrick's Day party. Like, I wonder if that inspired some of my distaste for St. Patrick's Day. It's definitely possible. I grew up watching like two episodes of the show a day for almost a decade. Certainly would not surprise me. Hello. Wow, baby's rice arrived. How about that? So exciting. Okay, I, w I would give the baby a high a high outfit rating. It looks very nice, sleeveless, fit for the weather. Cop this, cop this look. Yeah, that's good stuff. Hold on, what's? There's a super secret room. Look at that. We're we're good, right? We're just moving on. We're just moving on. Yeah, we're just moving on. Hello, baby. Hi. There's me. There's me. Hello. Go to the room? How, how am I supposed to get there, man? You gotta find a red key? Odds, I think, pretty low, unfortunately. <laughs> you can borrow my... Okay, that's fine. Could, is there any, could I possibly, maybe for our anniversary, I could buy you your own phone? I'm not sure about that one. Just uh, every stream comes in, can I borrow your phone to take some cute photos? <laughs> hmm. You know what? I can't, oh, matchbook. Matchbook and I'll be okay. When's the anniversary? Uh, our anniversary is in the middle of May, but I also already got her, her anniversary present in like February, so. Real question is, what's she gonna get me? She got me a cell phone, that's true. That's a good point. Okay, overachiever. Thank you. It wasn't the air fryer, okay? And I'm also, I'm not an overachiever when it comes to gift giving. My wife's just very straightforward. She's like, hey, like, can I get this and you buy it and it can be your anniversary gift to me? And I'm like, dude, honestly, I know that some people will look at that and be like, that's like not romantic or whatever. It's actually such an enormous quality of life improvement that like, I would never look uh, I, w I would never try to find the problem with it. Let's put it that way. It's actually awesome. I never have to think about uh, what to get and then worry if it's the right thing. Instead, and some there have been times where I've just I've just asked and I've been like, hey, you know, Christmas is in like six weeks. Like, what would you like? This is a good get for us, for sure. Reroll into the matchbook. That's that's still pretty good. Let's suck this up for a sec. Let's think about this. I'm like the opposite. Like, to be honest, I know this seems like it's either a flex or like... Pe people always assume you're being disingenuous. They'll say things like, um, you know, like, no, but what do you really want? But honestly, like, the best gift that someone who's not extremely close to me, like, like either my parents or my wife, the best gift they could give me is genuinely nothing. I would rather receive nothing than most things. Not, no, I don't even want, like, like money. Because then it starts the reciprocity. I'm not like, oh, I don't want you to get me something so that I have to get you something. Like, I'm not worried about buying the gift. It's just like, like, why am I, like, every year I gotta, like, buy my uncle a gift and then my uncle's gotta buy me a gift too and we haven't seen each other since, like, 2014. It just seems, it just seems weird. I got nothing against my uncle, but why are we both, uh, you know, just funding the, the gift card companies? And then, like, secondarily, like, why not get in something that he cares about? I don't even know who he is, man. We've had, like, a, you know, we, we ate Thanksgiving dinner together 
15 times over the course of my adolescence and then like that's it we live different world we're in different worlds we, we run in different circles what the heck is evil charm man yeah I'm not like a gift guy that's what I Kate what I was saying by the way was uh, I uh, I very much appreciate that when my wife wants something she just goes hey can you get me this for like an occasion or something like that. It's much nicer than the alternative of being like, I don't know what I'm supposed to get her. And she's like, well, well, you should know me by now. And I'm like, that's now it's like, it's supposed to be like a happy day where everybody's having, oh yeah, Tinted Skull, Tinted Skull. It's supposed to be a, a, a happy day where everybody's having a good time. Instead, I'm freaking stressed out trying to divine like Sherlock Holmes style exactly what, you know, she's looking for. Which we, I'm, I'm very thankful I don't have to go through that. Hey, hey, hold on. What things do we need to hit on the post-it note to get unlocks? Oh, you're right. I didn't need the. I, I didn't leave a trinket behind at all. Yeah. See. But I will say, and and this is more like, oh, you don't need to anymore. Whatever. I'm, I'm going. Look, what's this part of the post-it note? Right here. What's this? Because that's where we're going. That's Boss Rush and Hush. Son of a... We had a lot of XL floors. We might be kind of in the running. It's possible. It's possible. Why is your mouse so large on this, on this screen? I have to imagine it's got something to do with the fact that I'm playing in like... 640 by 480. No, we, we obviously we can't do boss rush. I mean, hush is possible. Thank you. But yeah, I, I will admit, like, there's no... Uh, I, sorry to say the same word again. Um, but there's, like, no reciprocity. Because, like, I think I'm very annoying to buy gifts for. Because I don't want anything. And I mean it. But you can't just give nothing. Because then it becomes, like... You know, it, like, if if we were at, like, a family gathering and I gave Kate something and then she didn't give me something, people would be like, what's up with that? And they wouldn't believe me. They would be like, yeah, just because you said you wanted nothing, but what you really wanted was, like, that t-shirt that was, like, you know, sorry I couldn't come to the phone, I was fishing or something like that. And I'm like, nah, man. I'm like, I really just, like, I, I, I want for nothing for the most part. I'm, like, it's not an ulterior motive, like, you should know what to get me. It's genuinely just, like... I, I've, I've already got too much stuff, if anything. Yeah, I need... I just want a shirt that says... Women love me, fish fear me. That's, that's the dream. Dude, we can actually make hush. We can't lose this much HP, though. Oh, you're dead. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We take because we want the spirit heart, and then we go down to the next floor. We've got two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes, baby. No problem. Monday, baby. Frick. Like, I don't even know, like, I mean, all I want is, like, food. That's the thing. <laughs> it's like, if you're, if, if, if any family members are watching this and they're like, oh, we got to get him a gift, like, for Christmas next year. Honestly, just buy me, like, an Uber Eats gift card or something. Like, that's, that's the greatest gift for me, even though gift cards are kind of normally, like, a crappy gift. That's a great gift for me because I will never pay the Uber Eats price to order something for myself and have it delivered because it's too expensive, especially for like a single meal. But if I had like a gift card burning a hole in my pocket or something like that, then I could be persuaded. Socks also very helpful. Nothing wrong with that. My mom gives me a bunch of beef jerky every year and it's sick. I hear you, man. Like that's, that's what it's all about.
beef jerky, candied salmon, whatever, whatever you got. We're gonna probably die to Hush, but I'm gonna try anyway. Why not? Yeah, and then I also like don't um. We we don't have like a ton of space, so I I greatly prefer to ha get gifts that don't take up room, ideally. Dude, what if these guys just blew up in the fire? That would be so sad. That's true. If you want to like give me a bigger house, that that would be something. These are incredible items. This is this is unbelievable. That's probably gonna be our reroll. Anti grav is really not good with brimstone. Pause button, I don't think, does what we needed to do. Um, I don't know. This will give us more familiars at least. I will take the mystery sack. That's that's a quality item. And then I will also reroll this HP upgrade. Conjoint? Could no conjoint? Um, and I think I'll, I'll pop the strength card anyway. Yeah, this could be okay. Dude, uh, that's pretty good damage. Oh, Gish doesn't count for conjoint. Oh, I must have missed the the tie-in novel. That explains that rule. Yo, Magneteer's pretty sick. I'm gonna be honest, we definitely should be creating some more statues here. We can always suck them up later if we want. You know, statues, whatever the heck these things are. <laughs> what the? Yo, get out of here, dude. The static. Mm, yes, the static. My mistake. Excuse me, um, a static is something that you join in Final Fantasy to get yelled at for not standing in the right spot when Ifrit uses his Demon Claw attack. I think you must be confused. Dude, this is actually really easy. I thought we were going to run into way more trouble. Turns out having like 12 brimstones is, is pretty solid. <laughs> Didn't lose much HP. But that was great. That was, that was a great time. I mean, we might as well do void, right? Like, while we're here. I, I don't know if it's going to be easy, but there's definitely a chance. Yeah, I don't even think we got hit there. That was kind of amazing. You got to do it at some point. Why not now, right? That's the other thing you could get me. You could get me eight shares of the Vanguard uh, all uh, total world stock market index. I don't know if they, if they give gift receipts, but it's either that or Uber Eats. Uh, it's up to you. Okay, don't lose HP. You need as much as possible. So that you can turn it into damage. Delirium should be a cakewalk because of magnetized tears. Okay. I'll take your word for it. I don't I don't fight this guy too much anymore. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if you wanted to give me like some Berkshire Hathaway, like I'll I'll be honest. If you if you don't want to buy me eight shares of VEQT, how about one share of Berkshire Hathaway Class A? It's a little bit smaller, but I would definitely accept it either way. I'm not going to turn up my nose at that. The joke there, by the way, is that I, I think every uh, Class A share of Berkshire Hathaway is like 350,000 US dollars or something. Okay. 
403 thou good good for them wasted charge key haha <laughs> so true so you got me I'm very embarrassed right now what about a couple class B's look I mean if if money's tight and you can't buy me the the four hundred thousand uh, dollar share then like honestly I just don't show up okay make yourself scarce I take. This could be the the uh, void, but I'm, or delirium, I should say. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Doesn't bother me. Guess what? Get bodied. Dude, you know what? I'll take it. I'm not scared. Why are we getting um, angel items though? It's, is, is this a, a, a buff to the void? Or is it just like any item pool can show up down here and we're just getting like kind of lucky to get angel items? I don't know. It's interesting though. It's random item pools. Please, please. I'm just remembering now that this run is like... It's only by sheer luck that we're in such a good position. And every other time, you know, we, we tried to make Tinted uh, Eden work, it, it didn't turn out at all. I'm remembering we gotta keep our heads screwed on straight here, otherwise we're gonna have to do some really tough stuff as this character again. So I'm gonna remind myself... ...to just, you know, think with your noggin. Who would've, who would've thought full run reroll? Not Tinted Eden. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Tainted Eve. You know what I mean. Aren't all the characters just Isaac anyway? I don't think so, Bloat. Oh, you guys haven't read the tie-in novel? By Brandon Sanderson? It's pretty decent. It's hard to say no to that. What popular game would you never play on stream? So, the honest answer, I mean, the answer is many for sure, but I think the honest answer is like anything that is super long and super story driven. Man, that was a bad pickup. We could swallow the tick though, now that I think about it. Uh, Anything super long and super story driven is not a good fit for me. For for others, more power to you, but like, I guess this isn't AAA, but what, what popped up in my head was um, Disco Elysium. Historically, they, they don't do super well. Um, in fact, they do the opposite pretty badly. They stretch on longer than my attention span can hold. There are a lot of work for me to make it my own brand of interesting. And the vibes in chat don't pass the vibe check usually. Because instead of having fun conversations, it's all about like, oh, you really should use uh, the Jotunheim Frost Breath before you use the launcher. Otherwise, you're leaving like 0.63 damage on the table. And I'm like, you know, I was just trying to talk about like whole wheat bread and you're out here you're like you're screwing the vibes up man he didn't even do the bike mission <laughs> i'm going home to lola as well okay you can't hurt me because i have magnet tears so you're trash no tomo i i can't let you in my office anymore Every time the office door opens, it creates, like, a, an hour-long period of, of bedlam. Well, like, we can go through this if you want. People are like, but you played Skyrim. And I'm like, yeah, that's why you should trust me when I say that it's a bad fit. Because, like, this, the Skyrim Deus Ex Human Revolution corridor of Sunday streams, like, it, it, it taught me something. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> the Witcher 3, playing The Witcher 3 for six months on stream, taught me a little something about, about myself. 
A lot about living and a little about love. Our Skyrim playthrough wasn't even that long. It was only like like a couple weeks, but... Well, no, it might have been like a month and a half, but still. I mean, I, this is... I, I, I've got to recognize that the conversation like always goes in this direction. But people are like, well, you stream longer now, so like... Wouldn't it be easier to play them? Yeah, but they like they don't they don't perform, you know? Like I don't know what I can really I don't know what else I can really say. Like they what what's blowing up here? It's his shots. Okay. I think I've I've said it like, you know, a thousand times. I know not everyone's here for it, but it's less like, oh, they don't fit, and more like, you know, I don't like playing them, and also they do pretty badly. <laughs> I don't know if people are under the illusion that the, all streamers are out there being like, I just wish I had the time to play per Persona 5 on stream. I'm like, I, I would rather play 60 mechanics-driven games for an hour than, than touch Persona. Okay. We have unlocked Sumptorium. It got a little close. It got a little close for comfort, but we we made it happen either way. Yo, true, God of War. But you don't understand, this isn't a counter-argument that's like, I. but you played God of War in the past, you played Skyrim in the past, you played Deus Ex. Because I played those in the past, and I remember the experience, which was God of War for me, was like three hours of fun, followed by like 20 hours of people literally suggesting I was a sociopath because I made a single joke at the ending of the game when I was supposed to be in tears instead. You know, that's... Uh, that, that's why I don't want to go back and play it again, pretty much. <laughs> but it, you know, it works for other streamers and it doesn't work for me, you know? It's, uh, everybody's, uh, everybody's different. Anyway, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Click the follow button. It is is 420. We were trying to get 420,000 followers by 420. We're not quite there. We're at 418.3. But I'm, uh, you know, we're close. We're eager, at least. I'm going to go back to the bathroom and uh, let Tomo in, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 